Okay guys, so I told you I was going to give you a little video on hydrocarbons as well. So I'm just going to go over a few examples with you on putting in the hydrogens on a hydrocarbon. So just remember, we need to have four bonds for every single carbon there is in our molecule. Now they could be bonds with um, other carbons or they could be with hydrogen or they could be with any other element, but we need to have four. So um, just, I'll do an easy one to start off. Okay, I'll throw one more in there. So in this, this chain right here, we have a straight chain and it has five carbons in it, okay? So if we wanted to attach our hydrogens, uh, I'm gonna call, here's our first carbon, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, and then carbon five. All right, so if we're looking at carbon number one, you guys can see that it has one bond and that one bond is attached to carbon number two. So in order to have four bonds, we have to add three hydrogens to that first carbon. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. So all of those hydrogens are attached to our number one carbon. And if you guys look now, we now have four bonds. We have one, two, three, four bonds, just like carbon needs, okay? Um, if we go to carbon number two, that's this one right here. If you guys see, it has one bond to the carbon number one, and then it has one bond to carbon number three. So it already has two bonds. So we're gonna have to put in one, two hydrogens. And that's all we need for that one, okay? Carbon number three, again, it just looks exactly like carbon number two. It's attached to carbon number two and carbon number four. So we're gonna put in one, two hydrogens on there. So now that one has one, two, three, four. And then moving on to carbon number four, same exact thing as carbon two and carbon three. We got one, two bonds. So we're gonna add two more hydrogens in there, okay? And then our last one, all the way on the right side here, carbon number five, we got only one bond to carbon number four. So we're gonna need one, two, three, and there is our hydrocarbon completely done with four bonds on every single one of the carbons, all right? And it doesn't get more uh, difficult than that, guys, with straight chains. Let me try a branched one with you. Branched ones get a little bit more difficult. So let's make our carbon chain here. I'll make this one a little more difficult for you. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I got six carbons in this one here, okay? So we will label them. This will be carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five, and then this will be carbon six over here. So let's start off with carbon number one. Carbon number one all the way at the top here, the only one it's attached to is carbon number two. So there's only one bond in there. So we're gonna have to add one, two, three bonds, okay? Coming down to carbon number two, it's attached to carbon number one, and carbon number three, so we're gonna have to add two in there. Okay, and that's pretty much it for that one. Uh, carbon number three, we got one, two bonds already for it. It needs two more. All right, carbon number four, it's this guy right here. We have one, two, three bonds to it, so I only need to put in one hydrogen to make it four. Let's go down to carbon number five, down there. Um, we have only one bond, so we're gonna have to add one, two, three hydrogens into that. And then I think the same thing goes with carbon number six. If you look at carbon number six, we have one bond there to carbon number four. So we're gonna need one, two, three in there. Okay. And there is another branched 
uh, hydrocarbon for you guys. And it is fully saturated with our hydrogens. Okay. Um, now, so far, I've only done straight chains and branch chains, and I've only done single bonds. So let me show you, uh, we'll do a ring, and then we'll also do uh, an example, maybe double bonds, maybe triple bonds. Let's do that one first. So, That looks good. So we got six carbons in there. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, we got seven in there. My fault, guys. One, two, three, let's call him four, five, six, seven. Okay? So if we're talking about carbon number one here, you guys can see that it is triple bonded to carbon number two. So we already have three bonds. We only need one more. I'm going to throw that last one in there. Now, I know what you're asking yourself right now. You're saying, okay, Calm, you know, does it matter if it's up top, down low, or to the side? No, it does not. You can put that hydrogen wherever you want. If you want to throw it over here, throw it over there. If you want it down low, that's fine too. Moving over to carbon number two. If you look to the left, it's bonded with that triple bond. And then to the right, it's bonded once. So we have one, two, three, four bonds there already. It's done. We don't have to do anything to it at all. So carbon number two is already uh, stable. It's already complete. Moving over to carbon number three, we have a bond to the left, a bond to the right. We got two bonds down below. So it has one, two, three, four. It's already done too, okay? Um, if I move down here to carbon number four, we have two bonds there. So we're gonna need two more. And again, guys, it doesn't matter where you put them. As long as you have your two hydrogens in there, it does not matter. Okay, so we are done with that guy. Moving over to carbon number five. Okay. If you look at carbon number five, we're gonna have one to the left, one up top, one to the right. So we only need one more in there for it to be complete. And that's it, okay? Um, our next one, up top. That carbon is only attached to this carbon, so we have one bond there. We're gonna need three bonds for that one. Okay, and then our last carbon, actually the same thing goes there. We only have one bond there, so we're going to need one, two, three there as well. Okay, and our hydrocarbon is done for that one. A little more difficult, guys, when we get to the triple bonds and double bonds, but as long as you keep your numbers and your counting straight, everything is good. All right. Um, now for rings, guys, they do it a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to make... I'm going to attempt to make an octagon. We'll see. Not too bad. Okay. So, if you notice the difference between that and our last one, I had all these nice C's in there. Where'd the C's go? They're, they're gone. Um, so for this one, guys, the, the difference is where we have an angle or a bend, that's where our carbons are. So this would be a carbon, this would be a carbon, this would be a carbon. So it's an octagon. So we're going to have eight carbons all together. Okay. Um, let me throw some bonds in there. Make it interesting for us. Make a double bond there, double bond there, double bond there, and a double bond there. Okay, so it looks a little bit more intimidating, guys, but it's not, all right? If you want to redraw it, or you would have all your C's everywhere, you can, okay? But I'm gonna start with this carbon right here. So we would have one bond there attaching it to the other carbon and two bonds on this side. So we have three bonds all together, we would have to put in one H. Come around here, same deal. One bond there, two bonds on this side, put in another H. If you notice, it's gonna be the same all the way around. This carbon here, one bond here, two bonds there. We are gonna have to attach one H to every one of these. 
it does not matter which way you go okay you can go down with this one if you want to go sideways with it you can go sideways with it same thing here i'll go down with that one it doesn't matter okay that's all we're doing for that ring to put in our hydrocarbons okay um if you guys need the drawing on what it would actually look like i'm gonna start here we'd have our c double bonded to our c single bonded Okay. that's what it would actually look like and then you would have to go in and put your H's in everywhere okay if you guys need the visual of all the the carbons in there okay so that's our ring guys um, hopefully this wasn't too difficult for you all right um, now I'll give you some like word problems on these uh, for instance let's say if you had you know a carbon bonded to another carbon with a double bond all right something like that how many hydrogens would you need all together well it'd be two on this one and two on this one so you'd need four hydrogens all together okay just a little bit um of a wordy example for you all right guys hopefully this helped um i'll see you guys tomorrow